What's up, YouTube? It's your friend Miriam, aka Lucky Number 78, and I'm back with another Your Toy Box. Let's see what this month has in store for us. Looks like bubble wrap, which is, of course, as I always say, a toy in itself. <laughs> First thing in here looks like Pokemon, it just says Pokemon figure. It is a later Pokemon, and it doesn't say on the bottom, so someone can tell me what this guy is. But he's super cute, he's manufactured by Bandai, and his little butt section here swivels all the way around, and his little arms go all the way around as well. No articulation in the head. The head is really nicely sculpted and painted. The rest of him is completely unpainted, but nicely sculpted. So, yeah, that's cute. Okay, moving on. Next thing in here, someone's gonna have to explain to me. The box says Luke Skywalker figure. The helmet comes off to reveal a very distinctive Luke Skywalker head. He's got a... Sith or Empire emblem on his shoulder. Someone's gonna have to explain to me what this is from. Is this from a cartoon or something or a comic book? Copyright 1996. It looks like Power of the Force. But it's not anything from any movie I can remember. So if someone can explain to me what this is from, I'd appreciate that. Interesting little Star Wars figure. Let's see what's next. Next up we got a little Pikachu. Cute little Pikachu with uh, some kind of thunder attack around him in this nice translucent plastic and the Pikachu himself is a little PVC. No manufacturer's markings on this guy so I don't really know a lot about his provenance. But if anyone does know, please let me know in the comments below. That's a pretty cute one. I, I like that. Next up is something marked Power Rangers figure, and it is the Green Samurai Ranger, or Shinkanger. Um, he's got a little spear. Both of his arms have articulation, which is kind of nice for something that's meant to hold something, and it's nice that the thing he holds is also included. Uh, this does have copyright Bandai 2012 and the head does move which is which is also nice this is kind of a cute figure I, I don't think I've ever seen this line uh, initially on looking at it I thought it was one of those mashems but no it's, it's a nice solid plastic figure nice inclusion next up is something else that says Power Rangers figure but this one I can easily identify this is Robo Knight one of the actual cool things about Megaforce, which is otherwise pretty terrible, in my opinion. This again is copyright Bandai 2012. He's got articulation in the knees, articulation in the elbows, articulation in the head, and at the shoulder, and at the hip. Uh, no articulation in the waist. He has a little hole in his belt to hold a weapon that's not included. Um, but otherwise, this is actually a figure I was considering buying myself, specifically this figure. So, um, that saves me about $12 on the secondary market. So that's really nice. I, I, I don't even, for my purposes, I don't even need to point out how good the paint and sculpt is because I know because I wanted this figure. But you can see it's got this nice metallic gold, um, sharp green, sharp red. The, the back of the helmet is painted, which if you collect Bandai, you know how much of a problem they have with painting the backs of things. Um, the back of the belt is painted too, which is nice. Um, so yeah, that's another, another good figure. Yet another thing just marked Power Rangers figure. This one again is marked Bandai. 2006, and um, it's from Operation Overdrive, or Bokanger. Um, I have not seen this show, but 
Um, it's one of my favorite uniforms of all time. I love how the line is uniform throughout the uniform. Um, again, they, there's significant amount of painting on the back, um, which is nice. Um, a really nice sculpt throughout. This is the kind of figure, again, that I would go out and, and purchase on the secondary market. This item is a home run for me. And we're down to our last item. And this is a 2007 Trouble on Tatooine Stormtrooper Sand Trooper Search Battle Packs Unleashed. I'm trying to show you this without the glare there. Four individual stormtroopers searching for Luke on Tatooine. Um, that's really cute. That's really cool. I actually really like this, and I think I'm gonna maybe display it in the box. It does stand up on this little thing here. So, uh, this is probably the best box as a whole that I've gotten from your toy box. Let's recap it real quick. Um, we got the four pack of Stormtroopers. The inexplicable, to me, Luke Skywalker would really love some explanation on this. The awesome Operation Overdrive figure. I know most people don't like that series, but I'm really curious. Robo Knight from Power Rangers Mega Force. Pikachu. In a, in a rare, unique Pikachu pose, because, you know, Pikachu gets made and made and made and made, so it's nice to see a Pikachu that I've never seen before. Samurai Green, and a cute little Pokemon that I can't identify. So that's seven items in a box that promises seven to ten. Obviously, I would have liked more, but... There wasn't a single item in this box that I didn't like. The Star Wars items were the weakest. Um, for me. The Power Rangers items were the strongest, as usual. But he included more than he usually does, which I really appreciated because I'm mostly in this for the Power Rangers because there is not a standalone Power Rangers subscription box. <clears throat> but please let me know in the comments below what you thought. Um, what you liked, didn't like, um, what you wish there had been more of, less of, um, what that Luke Skywalker was all about. <laughs> Please leave, leave a like, a comment is even better. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please keep watching. And, uh, until next time, stay beautiful. <laughs> Peace.